Hello, I'm Nurjaman Faruqi here today to talk about multi-layer neural network. Let's start with a quick recap of single-layer neural network. This is a simple single-layer neural network. This is the input layer and this is the output layer. These are the input data. They enter into the network through the input layer. There are weights in between the input and the output layers. When the input signal go through the weight, they are updated based on the values of the weights. These updated signals go to the output node. The output node processes the signals and generate the output. And this entire process is repeated for next set of input. In supervised learning, the training data, in other words, the input data, come in input correct output pair. Don't let this output and this correct output confuse you. The output from the output layer is the predicted output, and this is the expected output. When the predicted output is equal to the correct output, we say the prediction is 100% accurate. It means we use this correct output to supervise or compare the output of the network. Now the question is, how does this network learn to predict the accurate output? The learning process starts with getting the first output. At the beginning, there are some random weights. These weights update the input signals. Then, the output node processes the updated signals and predicts an output. This predicted output is compared with this correct output. The difference between the predicted output and the correct output is the error. This error is used to update the weights in such a way that reduces the amount of error. This process keeps repeating for each training data. Now, the error is 0 0.41. In this way, after every iteration, the error value reduces. Once the error is close to zero, iteration stops. And we say that the network has been trained. In other words, the network has learned to predict accurate output. So, what is the learning process of a neural network? The answer is simple. Weight update or modification. That means the neural network learns through weight update. And the rule or the algorithm we use to update the weights is called the learning rule. Let's remove the weight notation from the network and simplify it. Don't think that the weights are gone. They're here. We are simply not showing them on the network. It is possible to add one or more than one layers in between the input and the output layer. When we add one or more than one layers in between the input and the output nodes, it becomes a multi-layer neural network. These layers are called hidden layers and these are hidden nodes. This network has one hidden layer. When a network has one hidden layer, it is called a shallow neural network. This network has two hidden layers. When a network has more than one hidden layers, 
It is called a deep neural network. Before going any farther, I want you to think for a while. How can we train this multi-layer neural network? Can we use the same learning rule we used in a single layer neural network? Let's calculate the error and update the weights. Notice carefully, these are the weights of the output node. That means only the output node is learning. These hidden nodes are playing no role here. In order to train these hidden nodes, we need to update the weights associated with these nodes. To update these weights, we need to calculate the error. To calculate the error, we need to know the correct output. Now the question is, do we have the correct output of these hidden nodes? No, we don't. The correct output we have is the correct output of the output node. It is not for these hidden nodes. That means we cannot update the weights of these hidden nodes. If we can't update the weights, where is the point of adding them? Updating the weights of hidden nodes is the main challenge of a multi-layer neural network. And actually, we cannot update the weights using the learning rule we used for a single layer neural network. We need a new learning rule, and that is the backpropagation algorithm. Before starting with the backpropagation algorithm, we need to learn how to represent a multi-layer neural network. And this is the topic of the next video.